Welcome back to my vlog guys. It is currently already autumn and about five years ago I read this book and yes this is a really different story than usually but this book has a wipe and it also has recipes in there which means I have always dreamed of making one of those recipes and we do have loads of apples at home currently which means I'm going to make the apple crisps from this book. But I am going to make it a little bit more healthy, which means I am also going to reduce the sugar and I'm going to go in with more healthy options like marble syrup or things like these. And I'm also going to make it gluten free because I feel like I can't really digest gluten that good as normal flour. Anyways, I'm going to drop you the recipe down below and I'm of course not just going in with a cooking vlog, I'm also going to the gym. So yeah, I'm just sharing you some special insights from my cooking and afterwards we will go to the gym having a bull session today. So let's get ready. It is another day guys and literally I didn't film yesterday's back day because I had a brilliant idea for this vlog this time so stay tuned I'm going to explain a really special exercise to you all at the end because this exercise actually is going to transform your whole leg work and I'm also going in hey what am I doing to actually speed up things because you can't just go to gym and not plan on getting faster if you want to do kickboxing still anyways today is another day and I am all dressed up as you can see because we are going to have lunch with the family together we are going to a really really good special in my hometown so i'm actually looking forward to this and i am going to take you with me so let's get this lunch into us Welcome back guys in the gym. Honestly, I wanted to film yesterday's lag session, but I forgot my microphone at home, which made it pretty hard to film. Anyways, I'm going to film a push day today. I don't know if I've ever walked you through a push day, but since this video was not really for a push day, I'm going to film a leg exercise at the end because this is a game changer because it's not just for the quad, the hamstrings and the glutes. It is also going to help your whole posture. It is improving your core. It's strengthening basically your whole body. So at the end of this video, I actually do want to walk you through a leg workout or a leg exercise, but just for the aesthetics, I'm going to walk you through a push day, so let's get into this, guys. It is Halloween and gosh, I would not party. Like, honestly, I don't drink, I don't do trucks, I don't smoke. If you wanna scare me, go and work out the push your limits, go to the gym, 
that's scaring me. <laughs> this is now the exercise I originally wanted to show you yesterday. Though, believe it or not, my micro was not with me. Anyways, I'm going to show it right now because I really think this exercise is really, really special. The first thing, it is not just attracting your quads, like normal squats. It is also going on your hamstrings, on your glutes, and if you do it correct, it also strengthens your core and your posture. Anyways, I'm going to set it up now with you because this is also important. Speaking of setup, all you need to do is have something to lay under your feet. And if you don't have something like this, you can also use normal weights, normal weights and lay them on the floor. Um, yeah, what is pretty important, either you have someone standing behind you, spotting you, because if you don't, you make them for the first time, like I can tell you, put less weight on it than you do with normal squats, because otherwise you will be sitting there forever, unless you don't have something like this or a spotter. I usually do them with 50 or 40 kilograms. If I go max in, I think I did 65 kilograms. Okay. If you want to have something for your neck, you can put it around. It is important that you try not to twist your knees out or in. You want to keep them really straight. Another thing you want to do, you don't want to bend forward. You want to keep your back as straight as possible. And then you go up. same time it's keeping you flexible because you can go all the way down and all the way up as mentioned you're training flexibility because you're doing full range of motion going on your quads going on your glutes and on your hamstrings and on your posture this is one of my favorite leg exercises nowadays so yeah try it out let me know in the comment what you think about them Yes, like, give me some thumbs up on this video if it helped you a little bit. Anyways, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next time.